This is the Vision Pro. Apple has unveiled a much-anticipated augmented reality headset, the Apple Vision Pro, in its first major hardware launch for almost a decade. Apple's chief executive, Tim Cook, said the new headset seamlessly blends the real world and the virtual world. The headset has a two-hour battery life and cost $3,500 and will be released early next year in the United States. The cost is considerably higher than virtual reality headsets currently on the market. Last week, Meta announced its Quest 3, which cost $499. Apple said little about generative artificial intelligence, the buzzy technology that is the talk of Silicon Valley. The company's share price fell slightly during the announcement made at a developer's conference at Apple Park, the company's headquarters in California. Apple Vision Pro looks different to similar headsets on the market and is more reminiscent of a pair of ski goggles than a virtual reality headset. Apple used the phrase augmented reality to describe what the new device does. Augmented reality, also known as mixed reality, superimposes virtual objects in the world around us, enabling us to mix reality with virtual reality by looking through a screen. It's actually like your phone but in front of you, big, bright and bold whenever you are. In letting you do things like watch videos of your family blowing out birthday candles or immerse yourself in your photography by making your panoramic photos life-size. Unlike many other headsets in the market geared primarily towards immersive gaming, users can access apps, watch movies, write documents in a virtual world. But so far, there is little evidence of a big market for this kind of wearable tech. It's still at the end of the day, like a VR headset. Many people have elicited mixed reactions, some saying it won't appeal to mainstream consumers at first on account of its extremely high price point and immediate shortcomings as a first-generation device, such as its separate wired battery pack. In his sales speech, Mr. Cook said that the headset allows users to see, hear and interact with digital content, just like it's in your physical space. It is controlled by using a combination of your hands, eyes and voice, such as tapping your fingers together to select and flicking them to control. The announcement comes a week after Meta and Lenovo announced new iterations in the pre-existing virtual reality headsets that do not superimpose objects onto a view of the real world. Meta has also invested heavily in mixed reality, but right now the sector is struggling. The headset market saw a 54% drop in global sales last year, according to the International Data Corporation. Apple's last major hardware release was for Apple Watch device in 2015. Aside from the Vision Pro announcement, Apple also unveiled iOS 17, the latest version of its iPhone operating system. What are your feelings about the Vision Pro? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching.